Hello, my family members. I got to know many of you have Accenture on campus exam on this Monday, that is on 28th August. So, you are obviously looking for recent coding questions asked in Accenture on campus, right? That's why I brought two coding questions that was asked on 22nd August and 23rd August, respectively. Before we proceed to the question, I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding Accenture previous year coding question. Link will be given in the description box, okay? So let's go to the questions. Rashid dislikes being idle. Because of this, he creates games anytime he gets bored. He came up with a game and decided to play it one dreary winter evening. Given is the list of n numbers in sequence A. The player has multiple step options. He can select an element from the sequence, let's call it AK, and delete it in a single step. At which point all at which point all elements equal to AK plus 1 and AK minus 1 must likewise be eliminated from the series. The player receives AK points after that action. Being a perfectionist, Rashid made the decision to score as many points as he could aid him. Right. So sample input is 3 and the list is 1, 2 and 3 and the output is 4. Right. Actually, I am not giving the solution. I am giving you some instruction so that you can solve the problem easily. Right. Uh, actually, to solve this problem, uh, we can use a dynamic programming to keep track of the maximum possible score that can be achieved up to each element in the sequence, right? So, look at the sequence, I mean, step by step approach, right? At first, let's take the input and the read, at first, read the integer n, which represents the length of the sequence, and then uh, read the list of integers of length n, and then initialize the dynamic programming for right and which will actually store the maximum scores achievable up to each index right then iterate through the sequence and for each element a i that means the, the a is sequence right and uh, for each element a i calculate the maximum score that can be achieved by either selecting a i or not selecting it right and if AI is the first element in the sequence, then the maximum score of this element is simply AI, right? Otherwise, the maximum score for this element is the maximum of the score obtained by selecting this element AI plus the maximum score obtained so far excluding the adjacent element AI minus 1 and AI plus 1, right? And the maximum score obtained so far, including the adjacent elements AI minus 1 and AI plus 1, but excluding this element AI, the final answer is the maximum value in the DP, I mean the dynamic programming array, right? So I hope you have got a little knowledge about uh, the approach. So I hope you will solve the problem by yourself, right? Uh, now, uh, if you still have any problem, if you face any problem, then let me know in the comment section. I will give you the feedback and I hope you will be satisfied. Okay, let's go to the next question that is regarding a special string. A string is called special if it can be written as the concatenation of two non-empty strings S1 and S2 such that S1 contains all the characters equal to A, S2 contains all the characters equal to B. You are provided with T test cases and for each test case, you are provided with string S. Your task is to find and print the number of special strings, right? So, note that each string contains only lowercase characters. So, the input format is, the input is given in the following format the first line contains t each of the t subsequent lines contains a string s the input will be read from the steady in by the candidate and output format is print the number of special strings right only uh, note that the output will be matched to the candidates output printed on the steady out right 
uh, here is the constraints you have to maintain that the sample input is 4 and a b x y z a a b a x b and the output is 2 here is the explanation you can read this okay i'm reading uh, for the third test case we can have s1 is equal to a a and s2 is equal to b since the given strings are the concatenation of s1 and s2 where s1 contains all characters as a s2 contains all characters as b and both s1 and s2 are non-empty hence this is a special string right a similar explanation can be framed for the first test case as well and those are the only two special strings in the given list of strings right here is another sample input that is uh, the length is 2 and a b a b a b a b are the two strings and the output is 1 right i don't think i have to explain this question uh, without any aid external aid i hope you will solve this problem if you still face any problem please let me know i am repeating again please let me know i will solve the problem in the comment section after one day or before your exam start right actually as much as you try to solve the problem by yourself then it will be actually easier to you to solve the problem in the exam hall as well right so I hope this question will help you a lot to practice for Accenture exam and before we end the session I would request you to please watch the playlist regarding Accenture coding question and Accenture preparation purpose playlist that is full of cognitive assessment right so thank you for today's session